This is Titus chapter three, verse five, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is just going to be another lesson. And in um, hopes and prayers to Yahweh Bashmi Shai that it's an edifying lesson to those that are of the hopeful elect. And uh, this is going to be quick. You know, I was meditating um, and reading. So, and I came across um, Titus 3 and 5. But let's start from verse 1. It says, put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But after that, the kindness of the Lord of our God, our Savior, toward man appeared. All right, because when we were in the world, all right, and we were born in this world, which in the sinful flesh, we all disobeyed the Lord. We all sinned, and we all had this, this, this manner is manner is manner in, uh, manner about ourselves. The way we conduct ourselves and it was being basically raised from your environment, you know, the way you grow up, you know, every brother got a different, different type of um, upbringing, you know, depending on what country and what state and what environment they lived in and parents playing a big factor in their lives and, you know, whether they struggled, whether they lived decent, you know, we all um, were foolish men, you know. We all were what? Disobedient. We was deceived. You know, we served diverse lusts and pleasures. You know, we, we lived with malice in our spirit where wisdom couldn't dwell in us. You know, uh, we did that little tit for tat thing. You know, it says envy, you know, having, uh, you know, jealousy toward an, a, another because of the things they may have. Hateful, you know, not really understand not really understanding how, you know, to to actually hate because there is a way and a righteous way to hate. You know, the most high hates in a righteous way. All right. The scriptures say he has what? Indignation, righteous anger. OK, he has righteous anger to be towards you. All right. It says in hating one another. Now it says, but after that, the kindness and love of Yahweh, our savior toward man appeared. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. OK, so now, brothers, scriptures also say uh, we remember when thou was illuminated, you know, you, you, you think about how you was when, you know, you, you was in the world and how you are as a man today in this truth. And how much you've grown, how much you've changed, you know. It says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Now, brothers that are in the truth and went out, go out on the highways and byways, uh, in season, out of season, we have works, you know. And, and, and the works that we do, you know, may the Lord account it worthy, you know. It says, but according to his mercy, he saved us. And that's true. All right, because not physically we're saved yet, you know, and Lord willing, you know, us brothers that are sincere be delivered and saved by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But spiritually, we've been saved, man. 
Because like I said, you know, when you sit back and think about, you know, who you was, type of person you was, how you th used to think on and how you dealt with matters and things that were were, pl were pleasant, to, you know, lustful and, and pleasure to you, you know, and things that you would do and things that you wouldn't do, you know, when you was in the world. Now look at you how you are as a man of the Lord, serving the Lord. You're a totally different person. You know, you're still the same, but you 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 correct the wrongs. And that was through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it wasn't by our works that we did. It was truly by the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, it it's a beautiful thing to be called in this truth. You know, the scriptures say many are called, few are chosen. You know, but being called is special because when you think about it, you know, the Lord and the angels were in were in the spirit realm talking about you, talking about your your existence, man. You as a spirit, you as a being, you as a spirit that the Lord created and placed in the earth. The most high was talking about you and waking you up. And then he sent forth the angels. You know, to work on your mind, you know, so that time when you fell into the truth, you walked in the truth, you had that spiritual awakening, you know, when you knew and you heard it, that this was the truth. You know, now you have men that fell away and obviously, obviously they wasn't men of the Lord, but I just wanted to, you know, stress that point that being called is a beautiful thing. Because being called, the Lord is looking out for you, you know, to not be a partaker of the wickedness in this world. And especially when he has to judge this world that you don't get cross, don't get uh, hit in that crossfire, you know. So it says, um, but according to his mercy, he saved us. So for the brothers that came into the truth and stayed in the truth. And that are still enduring in the truth, which is the scripture say in Matthew 24, he that of enduring to the end, the same shall be saved. All right. The Lord show mercy, man. And this is what we have to be thankful for while we walk. Uh, we walk in this truth while we walk through this path, down this path of the straight gate and through the fire, through the water. OK, so it says. Um, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Now, that's powerful, man, because Yahweh Shai walked the earth 2000 years ago. And here we are, men in a lesser statue than we was 2000 years ago in another side of the world than we was 2000 years ago. All right. Doing the works as we done in our past lives. And I'm going to say that's, that's the elect, those men that's doing the works. Okay. The Lord have truly, by washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. All right. So I want to go into this word regeneration. All right. Now regenerate. This is uh, dictionary.com. And this is a beautiful uh, definition to... Uh, to edify regeneration. Okay. Now it says to affect. And complete moral reforming. It says to recreate. Reconstitute. Or make over. Especially in a better form. Or condition. Now when you look at us. You know. We are of less, less a statue than we was. Before. But. The word has increased, you know, and we're not in our true perfection, but through the spirit, we now have 100 percent truth. We now know the prophecies and the mysteries, man. And that's all uh, by and through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's Rakakodash, Holy Spirit. So it says to recreate, reconstitute or make over, especially in a better form or condition it says to come into existence or be reformed again to reform become regenerate uh, become regenerate reconstituted or made over in a better form 
and truly we're going to be made in a better form when when the, the Lord Yahweh Shai return and uh, allow brothers to enter into those new bodies, being extraterrestrials. All right. That's going to be beautiful, man. You know, this is a nice uh, definition here for regeneration, which is regenerate. All right. Now. It's <clears throat> like, yeah, I want to go to my notes because uh, regeneration means uh, re means back. Generation means bring forth. So now look through the regeneration. OK, which also can can get into reincarnation. Re means back. Carnation means flesh. The scriptures speak of reincarnation. You know, those of the understanding of Yahweh Bashim al Shai knows that the Bible teaches reincarnation. Regeneration. You come back inside what? The flesh. Okay. Now it says, re means back again. Generation bring forth. Bring forth again. All right. And on my little notes. This is no notes I had for a little while. And uh, bring forth again of the body parts. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Right. You know. But, um. There you go. Let's read the scripture again. It says Titus three and five, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing. OK, the washing of what? The word, the scriptures of regeneration. All right. Which is what? The way the Lord um, re means back and and generation means to bring forth. So by the washing of the word, the Lord brought us back, okay, bringing forth, brought us back, and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Now, just a quick uh, note for renewing. This is the etymology. Re means back, again, right, whatever. It says resume, revive, renew. You know, also, you know, going according to the scriptures where the Lord said the, the, the prophets are subject to the prophets. You know, these are things we want. We once knew in our past lives, you know, for those who are of the whole four elect, you've been what renewed, revived. All right. So. It says by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, you know, and that's beautiful, man. All praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, because we truly at the end of this thing, you know, and um, as things go on. You know, the Lord is going to have to strengthen us. And how do he strengthen us is by by this word. OK, by what? By the washing of regeneration. OK. Which is uh, bringing back us. OK, bringing forth and renewing. OK, reviving our spirits of the Holy Spirit. OK, putting that Holy Spirit back in us. To let to uh to revive us into things that we once knew, you know, Lord willing, I pray this is edifying, and um the Lord able to allow me to fix my my words in the right in the right way to edify. All right, and um, I think that's it. That's it. Let's see, which He has shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Savior. And that's right, through Yahweh Shai, He has shed it this this gospel abundantly on us his word you know scriptures say his word is like living water you know none of us shall thirst again you know and i pray y'all basham al shah be of one of the lord's hopeful elect because uh there's nothing better than being a man of the lord in this day despite the tribulation that's coming jacob's trouble you know the darkest hours and the hell with all that the most high said rejoice man Look up because salvation is near. All right. So it says that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And by the Lord doing that, he made us heirs. OK. He made us heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So the elect have eternal life. It says this is a faithful saying and these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in Yahweh might be careful to maintain good works. 
These things are good and profitable unto men. So the good works that we have learned from our apostles and elders, all right, that they have learned from their elders, all right, and apostles. This is good works. And all we have to do is remain, remain continuing to maintain the good works. And how do you do the good works is by the thing, by, by teaching what we've been taught. All right. Not getting seduced in the spirit. Not, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, being a lover of yourself, getting proud, you know, being uh, because knowledge puffeth up, but truly having faith and being sincere. So it says might be careful to maintain good works. And maybe I'll title the video that careful to maintain good works because that's all we can do. You know, that's all the Lord. That's all we can do to prove to the Lord our love. And that's just by doing the works, continuing to have faith. Faith is key, man. Faith is key. Faith is key. It says, these things are good and profitable unto men. Why is it good and profitable? Because the Lord can seal the elect by his, by his word. And he sent forth his ambassadors, his men, in the forefront to do that. And it's all through him, not them, but through him, because this is the Lord's movie, man. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, <clears throat> I want to uh, give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.